On September 5, 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft that would go on to redefine the very limits of exploration. At first, it was only one half of a daring twin mission, paired with Voyager 2, tasked with studying the outer planets of our solar system. No one at the time could have imagined that these probes, designed in the 1970s with technology far less advanced than what we carry in our pockets today, would become humanity's most distant messengers to the stars. What began as a mission to study Jupiter and Saturn slowly transformed into something far greater, a journey into the unknown, a voyage that continues even now, nearly half a century later. Voyager 1 was launched during a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, an alignment that allowed it to use the gravity of the giant planets as slingshots, flinging it farther and faster into the cosmos. This gravitational assist propelled the spacecraft to incredible speeds, allowing it to escape the Sun's gravitational grasp entirely. Even in its earliest encounters, Voyager proved its worth. It gave us jaw-dropping close-ups of Jupiter's massive Great Red Spot, revealed swirling storms and turbulent cloud systems, and even caught glimpses of lightning in Jupiter's atmosphere, something scientists had long debated but never confirmed. It also made a discovery that stunned the scientific world. Io, one of Jupiter's moons, was volcanically active, with plumes of molten material shooting into space. This was the first time active volcanoes had ever been observed beyond Earth. Then came Saturn, where Voyager 1 revealed the breathtaking complexity of its rings and the bizarre atmospheres of its moons. Titan, in particular, drew attention with its thick orange haze, hinting at a world rich in organic chemistry. At the time, scientists speculated that Titan could hold clues to how life began on Earth. These early discoveries didn't just expand our understanding of the solar system, they ignited entire new fields of study, setting the stage for future missions like Cassini, Dragonfly, and Europa Clipper. Yet, Voyager 1's greatest achievement was not its flybys, but its persistence. Built for a five-year mission, it was never meant to last more than a decade. Its instruments were designed to handle radiation, cold, and the emptiness of space but even the most optimistic engineers could not have predicted it would still be operational more than 45 years later. As it traveled outward, it carried with it something no spacecraft had ever achieved before. A chance to leave the protective bubble of our sun and step into true interstellar space. That moment came in 2012, when Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the solar wind, the constant stream of charged particles from our sun, loses its strength against the denser plasma of interstellar space. Scientists had long debated where this boundary lay, but Voyager confirmed it. Humanity had officially sent a machine beyond the solar system. For the first time in history, we had a presence in the vast ocean of stars. Since then, Voyager 1 has continued to deliver data that is both invaluable and puzzling. Its instruments, though aging, have captured eerie sounds of interstellar plasma waves, strange oscillations that reveal the hidden currents and forces flowing between the stars. These sounds are not what we normally think of as sound, space is too empty for that, but they are electromagnetic vibrations translated into frequencies we can hear. To many who have listened, they feel almost alive, like the universe whispering in a language we are only beginning to decipher. But recently, something far stranger has emerged. Voyager has been transmitting signals with anomalies that don't fit the patterns we expect from cosmic radiation or plasma. These signals show structured rhythms, almost as if they are more than random background noise. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has suggested that these findings could challenge our understanding of physics itself. Could Voyager have stumbled upon entirely new cosmic phenomena? Or is it detecting forces we've long theorized but never seen, forces like dark matter or even dark energy? Dark matter remains one of the universe's greatest enigmas. Though it makes up roughly 27% of the cosmos, we cannot see it, touch it, or detect it directly. 
We only know it exists because of its gravitational effects, holding galaxies together and shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. If Voyager is sensing interactions that relate to dark matter, it could be a once-in-a-lifetime breakthrough, evidence gathered not from a powerful telescope on Earth, but from a lone traveler drifting silently between the stars. Of course, not all theories remain strictly within the realm of known science. Some suggest that Voyager 1 could be intercepting artificial signals, perhaps the remnants of communication from advanced civilizations using interstellar space as a highway for their technology. While many dismiss this as speculation, others point out that Voyager itself carries such a message. The Golden Record, a time capsule containing sounds, music, greetings, and images of life on Earth. If we have chosen to send our voice into the cosmos, why should it be impossible to imagine others might have done the same? Could Voyager have become an accidental eavesdropper, catching signals not intended for us? Even without such extraordinary possibilities, Voyager's endurance is a miracle of engineering. NASA's team has been forced to make hard choices to keep it alive. Over the years, they have turned off camera systems, non-essential instruments, and heaters to conserve what little power remains. Each command takes more than 20 hours to travel from Earth to the spacecraft, a reminder of just how far away it is. Yet, despite the cold, the radiation, and the immense distance, Voyager 1 continues to whisper back to us across the void. What it has revealed is that interstellar space is not the silent vacuum we once imagined, but a realm filled with energy, magnetism, and motion. The heliopause, once thought to be a solid wall, is instead a shifting frontier, shaped by both our sun's activity and the pressures of the wider galaxy. Ripples from distant supernovae have been detected, echoing through interstellar plasma and brushing against Voyager's sensors like faint cosmic tides. Voyager's discoveries remind us of how much we don't know. They highlight the vastness of the universe, but also the fragility of our place within it. At the same time, they inspire bold visions for the future. Concepts like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send fleets of miniature probes racing to the Alpha Centauri system at a fraction of light speed, are direct descendants of the Voyager legacy. These future missions may one day confirm what Voyager has hinted at, the true nature of interstellar space, the secrets of dark matter, or even signs of life beyond Earth. But Voyager 1 is not just a machine. It is a symbol. It carries our story, engraved on a record meant to last a billion years, waiting for someone, or something, to find it. On that record are greetings in dozens of languages, sounds of nature, the laughter of a child, and music from across cultures. It is a snapshot of humanity, preserved in a tiny golden disc, floating between the stars long after we are gone. One day, Voyager will fall silent. Its power will dwindle its instruments will shut down, and the last faint signal will fade into the background of the universe. When that happens, it will continue its journey as a silent relic, a drifting ambassador of a civilization that once dreamed of the stars. And yet, its impact will never vanish. Voyager has already changed us. It has shown us the grandeur of our solar system, the boundaries of interstellar space, and mysteries so profound that they challenge the very laws of physics. Voyager 1's impossible discovery, its strange signals, its eerie hums, its defiance of all expectations, reminds us that exploration is not about finding answers we already know. It is about uncovering the unexpected. It is about daring to look into the unknown and listening to what it has to say. So, what do you think about Voyager 1's latest findings? Could they point us toward a breakthrough in physics, or could they be signs of something far stranger waiting in the dark? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this journey into the cosmos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, where we explore the mysteries of space, science, and the endless frontier that lies beyond.